Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Waves. Don't know much about it. I do know 7.8 on IMDb. I don't even know how this one came up for me, but here it is. Um, only 4,757 people reviewed it so far, but 7.8 is pretty good. It's about a um, suburban family who the father seems to be a little bit overbearing, um, and then some kind of tragedy happens and they have to come together as a family. That's all I know. Two hours and 15 minutes long. That's the other thing I know. I don't know any of the actors in it, so um, I have to get into it and figure out what it's all about, and then I'll come back and I'll tell you what it's all about, give you a better idea of the synopsis rather than what IMDb says, and then ultimately I'll tell you what I think. So stick around. I'm kind of interested to see what this is about and uh, if it's any good. 7.8, so high expectations. Let's hope. I'll be back. Hey everybody, I want to do a quick check in here. We're watching Waves. We're at the 1 hour, 10 minute, and 8 second mark. Um, and I stopped it here on purpose. It really got a little interesting at this point. Um, so the movie is about our main character is Tyler, 18-year-old um, senior boy in high school who's a, a wrestler, very good one at that. Um, and, you know, he has his family. He has a sister, dad, and uh, a stepmom. Um, and... Um, so it's not about, at this point, about the overbearing father. Now, he plays a role in it. Um, it doesn't seem too overbearing, but you get it. You can see he, he wants him to succeed. He pushes him a little bit. Uh, but it's really centered around him and what's going on with him, his girlfriend, his friends, his wrestling career, um, you know, and, and um, you know, being a senior is really what it's all about. And, uh, you know, partying a little bit. Um, and uh, he gets hurt a little bit. Not that that's that big of a deal, but, you know, those types of things is what's going on. His wrestling, um, how he's doing in meets and stuff like that. But you're just basically seeing, you know, a young kid in his senior year with all of those things. And that's where we're following us. Now, um, I don't want to go into too much detail because I don't want to spoil it for you. But, uh, you know, right here at the one hour and ten minute mark, it really gets interesting. This is where I, I said the words tragedy. This is where this starts to take place. Um, and I think the whole second half of the movie is going to be a lot different than the first half. First half of the movie was interesting, slow moving, you know. Um, wasn't as super, it wasn't um, very exciting. You know, like I said, it's a little slow moving, a little dry throughout it as we're watching it. But and now it hit a part where I think it's going to escalate itself uh, for the next hour. So, um if you're watch if you go to watch this movie, bear with the first hour. I mean, it's not terrible. Don't get me wrong. Obviously, I made it through it, but know that at the end, one hour mark, one hour and ten minutes within that time frame, um, it's gonna be a little different. So, I get back to it um, and watch a little bit more. I'm excited to see the second half of the movie and see where it goes from here. If anything interesting happens between now and then, I'll check in. If not, I'll see you at the credits. All right, I'll be back. Hey everybody, we're at the credit of Waves, and um, as I mentioned in the last check-in, I expected the the movie to change, okay? And uh, I said the first part was a little dry, a little, um, you know, I don't know. I thought it was going to change. It did change. It changed, but not the way that I thought it was going to. So if you do watch this movie, you know, pause it around the 110 mark and think to yourself, what do you think is going to happen? for the rest of this movie as long as you didn't do any further research and, and see what you come up with and then watch the second half of the movie and see if it went the way you thought it would um, it doesn't not for me anyway um, it changes directions of course um, but I, I didn't I didn't even imagine this what was gonna happen um, so this movie it reminds me a lot of have you ever seen boyhood now it's it's that type of movie it's not the same same kind of movie, that movie that took 13 years to make with the same actor. That was pretty neat. I think it won an Oscar, whatever. Um, I, I thought that's a neat concept, but the, the feel of that movie, I felt that in this movie. So, and I guess I, the best way I could describe it, I mean, there's very little, like, action. Of course, it's not, I don't think they're supposed to be, but it's, it's very light on dialogue. There's not a lot of dialogue in this. There is, of course, some but not a lot and it's heavier on emotion you know and body language and stuff like that so 
So it's one of those kinds of movies. Which, for me, it's, you know, not as enjoyable to watch. I get it, I liked it, and I think they, you know, that's the way they wanted to do this movie. And, and, uh, and obviously 7.8 for a lot of people, they like it like this. But, you know, it, 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 that's why I thought it was like dry and long and, you know, not hard to watch, but not like, woohoo, you know, it's just sometimes you just feel, uh, oh, you know, <laughs> it's a lot of, you know, camera angles at people's faces for like five minutes straight as they just have their hair playing in the wind kind of stuff, you know, um, but I get it, there's an art to that, and I understand it all, and I'm thankful that I watch this movie, but for me, eh, you know, that's not, that's my, not my cup of tea. Um, but, you know, I think for the experience, I think it's worth watching, but now you can go into it knowing that's what you're ready for, you know. Take, you know, maybe have an energy drink or two before you get into it, or maybe not. Maybe you don't need to, and this uh, tickles your fancy, and then this is the kind of movie you want to see. That's what you're going to get. So, it is a, a movie about family. I think the IMDb portion about the overbearing father is a little misleading. He exists, yes, but he is not the the main character in this movie and, and he you know none and he's not like the biggest influence on the outcome of the movie he is influence of course he's a father but it's not the way they make it seem in imdb so i don't want to go into any great detail because i think uh, you know part of uh, the thing that i liked about the movie was i didn't know what was going to happen and then seeing what was going to happen i was like oh okay you know, so that made it a little bit better for me. So, there you go. That's it. I'm rambling on. I'm being dry and boring and uh, I'm not probably doing a great job. But uh, if you check it out, don't forget to stop at the 110 mark. Think what you think is going to happen. And then, uh, you know, if you feel like it, drop me a comment. Let me know. Did you think it was going to go that way or did you think it was going to go a different way? Um, and let me know your thoughts. What did you think of the movie overall? And that's it. That's all I got for you. You know, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, tell a friend. And, uh, Continue to tune in to Kimmel's Irish Pub. See ya. <laughs>